What do you think a good essay introduction is like? I know it's easy to say, oh, well, there are lots of ways of doing it, and I'm sure there are. But I think that a good introduction to an essay is, first of all, going to be interesting. It's going to hook the reader somehow. And I think it's going to do that, firstly, by giving an idea of what the whole article or whole essay is about. I think also you need to give the idea to the reader that you know what you're talking about, that you are a bit, a bit of an expert on this. And I think, thirdly, what you need to do is to give what we call the thesis, which is the argument. Just indicate at the end of the introduction what the argument of your essay is going to be. So, to give you an example of this, I'm going to read you the introduction from an article I recently wrote, which was about Richard Hoggett, who was a cultural theorist in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and in fact is still alive today. And um, in 1957, Richard Hoggett wrote quite an influential book called The Uses of Literacy. Anyway, this is what I wrote in my introduction. In 1954, Dr. H. M. King, a past president of the National Union of Teachers, spoke in the debate on the Queen's speech. King feared that the easy attractions of the television, the film and the comic strip might allow mankind to slip back into a state where there are more illiterates than literates. Richard Hoggart took up this concern with the effect of mass popular culture in his 1957 book, The Uses of Literacy. Hoggart went on to found with Stuart Hall the Birmingham Centre for Contemporary Cultural Studies, which laid much the theoretical ground for media studies as it exists today. Hoggart was always ambivalent about mass culture and the uses of literacy anticipates many contemporary debates about literacy, media and cultural quality. Now, what am I doing in that introduction? First of all, I begin with something that sounds quite dramatic and interesting. Some lunatic in, in the Houses of Parliament saying that the television and the film and the comic strip was going to turn everybody illiterate. There were going to be more illiterate people than literates as a result of reading comics. And... Um, I think the, uh, that, that's not only interesting, but it also suggests that I've done my research and that I know what I'm talking about, and I, um, I support that really a bit later on when I give a few more other details about Richard Hoggart, for example, that he founded the Birmingham University Centre for Contemporary Cultural Studies. And then, by the end of the paragraph, I've indicated what I'm going to say in the rest of it. If we go back to my last sentence, it goes like this. Hoggart was always ambivalent about mass culture and the uses of literacy anticipates many contemporary debates about literacy, media and cultural quality. So I give at the end there three topics that I'm going to write about and that's quite a common thing that people do. Um, at, the end, at the end of an introduction, uh, you know, to, to give often three um, themes that they are going to be writing about. And of course, that's my thesis. My, the argument of my essay is that this is what Richard Hoggett did and this is why he's worth reading.